Hey Sunshine, welcome back to another video. I am LaTursa and today we're going to be talking all about seven self-care things that I wish I'd known in my 20s. So if that sounds like something that may intrigue your little mind, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and make sure you comment, like, and engage with this post because it really does help my channel. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first self-care idea that self-care, that thing that I wish I had known in my 20s is I don't have to fix everything. In my 20s, I swear, if somebody had a problem, I was gonna be that one to fix it. And looking back on it, it kept me stressed. It kept me anxious. And I didn't even know what the word anxious mean back then, but it kept my anxiety level high because every time something went wrong, I always felt that I had to be the one to go fix it. Y'all comment below if y'all had that fix it or still have that fix it mentality because I still struggle with it today, but I'm a whole lot better than I am than I was back then. Now I understand my sanity and my peace comes first. But back then, the 20 year old girl in me, oh my honey, I wanted to fix everything, wanted to make everything better and it drove me crazy. The second thing, self-care thing that really I wish I had known in my 20s is stop trying to be the perfect church girl. Y'all know when you grow up in a church growing up, you grow up in a, a religious family. I was raised Baptist and all of that. And so in my 20s, you know, everybody, everywhere I went, whether it was college, back home, I was known as the quiet church girl. I was goofy and silly, but I was known as the church girl. And you know, it's hard to live up trying to be perfect, a perfect Christian, trying to be the woman of God. You know, it's just so much pressure on you when people know that you're raised in the church. It's like they they hold you to this higher standard that really nobody can reach. And the minute I started making mistakes, I had church people come real hard on me they was like so i mean they didn't give me room to even make a mistake so it was like me trying to live up to this perfect church girl persona it nearly drove me crazy because it didn't leave and the third self-care ideal thing that i wish i had known is i don't have to be a bank to everybody see me growing up in my household we didn't have a lot but we had what we needed and i was I was raised, I was taught early on how to save money, how to be frugal, how to make your money go a long ways. And as time got older, every time my siblings would need some money and they were way grown, you know, even my two oldest or younger brothers, you know, they would be still calling me, you know, they need to borrow this, they need, and I didn't know how to say no because I, I still had that fixer up mentality. You know, I recall um, being in college and, I would get my refund checks and all that stuff. And here come my siblings. They need to borrow this and need to borrow. And so now at this age, I don't feel like I have to be a bank. If I don't have it, I just simply tell you I don't have it. I don't give any explanation. That's another thing. I used to always explain my reasoning behind whatever I did. But at this age, I don't do that anymore because that keeps a lot of stress on me. It keeps you in a stressful place. If you don't have it to give, just start speaking up. That is something I wish I had known in my 20s because it kept your girl angry because I was like, you know, even at one point, my mom would get, get upset if I told my brothers no. So it was to the point where everybody looked at me like I had everything together and it was, it was draining because I was in my 20s still trying to figure it out. And to this day, on another level, I still have my own things that I need to work through so I don't have time for other people's stuff. So if that makes sense, if you don't have it, you guys stop saying and stop giving if you don't have it. It's just that simple. The fourth self-care idea thing that I wish I had known in my 20s is I don't have to take on that persona of being a black woman, independent. I don't need nobody. I was always raised to make things happen. Go out and get it. Don't wait on nobody. Don't, you know, don't wait on no man to do things for you. Do things for yourself, which in in essence, it taught me how to be self-sufficient. But me raised up by a black mom, I was always taught to be independent of, of you know, take care what I need to take care of. But what I... What I did not understand in my 20s is you can be independent, but don't be too proud to ask for help. See, we, especially brown skinned women, we want to carry this torch of being the black, independent, strong woman. Well, I'm here to tell you at 40, 
Honey, I don't want no parts of that. Hell, I need help. I'm going to ask for help. I do not want to carry no torch of being a strong black woman. Forget that mess. We all get weak sometimes. We all need help. We all get tired. And this one right here, the fifth self-care thing that I wish I had known in my 20s, learn how to say no without giving an explanation. I promise you, the 20-year-old and me, every time I told somebody no, I always felt like I had to explain why I can't do this, why I can't let you borrow this money, why I can't let you, why I can't babysit, why I can't. I always had to go into this long, drawn-out story but it is okay, you guys, to say no, and that's it. No is a complete sentence. You do not have to drive yourself crazy trying to be and do everything for everybody. I promise you, you are going to sing yourself to glory before it's your time if you don't learn how to prioritize yourself and put yourself first and learn how to say them two-letter words, no. Complete sentence, if something is crossing your boundaries, Say no. If somebody is saying something to you that is disrespectful, speak up for yourself. Back up. Say no. My last and final self-care idea thing that I wish I had known in my 20s that probably could have saved me from taking a lot of vacations to the psych ward, forgive myself. If I had to start practicing forgiveness early on in my life, it probably would have took a different route than what I had. I have no regrets, but had I learned this early on, I was quick to forgive others, but when it came down to myself, I was so hard on myself. It was like I couldn't even give myself grace because it's almost like I kept that church girl persona to a high level. Like it was like, you too good to make that kind of mistake or you knew better. It was like I always gave other people more grace and forgive other, forgave other people quicker than I could myself. It took me years to learn how to do that and give that to myself. So if I had to tell my 20 year old self something, it would be forgive yourself quickly and give yourself some grace because we all need it. So those are my self-care things that I wish I had known in my 20s. Leave me a comment and let me know some of the things you wish you had known in your 20s that you do know better now. And Comment, share this with somebody who needs this because I promise you, when you start to prioritize yourself, when you start to do for yourself and take care of you physically, mentally, spiritually, your life becomes a whole on a whole other level and it gets better and better. So I love you guys and I'll see you on my next video. Yeah.